is a music that was marginalized in Morocco, say 50 years ago. This is a music among several Sufi orders or Sufi communities. And the music that was elevated as the national music of Morocco is Andalusi music. Ella, that's our classical music, our stately music. Yet over the past 40 years or so on, Gnawa music has crept up the musical hierarchy, such that today it's probably the most well-known music coming out of Morocco. This is a music that's historically used for healing, for people who are emotionally troubled, who have some sort of, what in the West would be diagnosed as depression or anxiety or schizophrenia and so on. A religious ceremony takes place that starts shortly after evening prayer. The Gnawa brothers are invited from the local order. They will sit in a house and the Mqadma, who is the woman who leads the ceremony, often translated in English as priestess, she will direct the Ma'allam, the person, the, the, the musician, who tends to know the Qur'an by heart, and he will play certain rhythms. And every rhythm summons a particular spirit, and you can tell which spirit has descended from the emotions and the movements of the person who is ailing. The Gnawa Festival in Morocco, we call it Moroccan Woodstock. It's packed, it's like 500,000 people attend the festival. The Gnawa Festival is celebrating its 20th anniversary and they decide to come to New York to promote the festival. And we, as a band based in New York, we're very happy to see such a moves like this. We want to see more Gnawa in New York. We want to see more music, more culture. We're very proud, we're very happy to, to have them coming here and playing in different stages. The festival played at the Lincoln Center, there was an opening show, and then they played at the New School, then they did the Kennedy Center in D.C., and the last show was at the Pioneer Works. music, most of the songs, it's uh, about African who came from sub-Saharan country to Morocco, either as a slave or like as an army. They made those songs, they were missing their home, they were missing their family, and they sing about that. You know, playing Gnawa music, especially, you know, we really don't like think about anything else when I'm in stage, you know, when I'm playing, just like, I don't know where I'd be, somewhere else. And especially playing with the Ma'allam Hassan Abdul Jafar. He's amazing Ma'allam and the way how he play it, he make it like more spiritual, he put all his feeling in it. And you can, can feel those feelings, so just like, since he start touching the Gimbri, I'd be like on the other world. <laughs>